Once upon a time. No, wait. Okay. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Three little bears went out to play. I built a house of straw today. Said one little bear, and just like that, he built that house, and then he took a nap. But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in! Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw. Out to play went two little bears. My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear, and just like that, he built that house, and then he took a nap. But once again, that mean old wolf woke him up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you there. Open the door, little bear, be he pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. No. Oh. He pounded the door. Let me come in. And I'll blow your house in. And he tried, and he tried, and he tried again. <gasps> Sheesh, get a hold of yourself. <gasps> <gasps> so, did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy. Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow.
The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> The next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn I'll do it all again today So I'm not bored And he laughed away <laughs> Help me, help me A wolf appeared It chased my sheep We're all afeard <gasps> Oh dear Sounds like trouble Again, villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine. The boy laughed. <laughs> I was kidding, guys. I think you better apologize. Yeah. Say you're sorry. You tricked us again. That's just not nice. You lied to us. <laughs> it was just a joke. The villagers were not happy, but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. <laughs> yeah, but... One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Ah, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then Thought it was a joke again They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea Hey, this is not funny Help me, help me, a wolf appeared It's chased my sheep, we're all afeard But sadly no one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. Woo! Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <gasps> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're a swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. A 
and afraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, Mousy. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans, Whoa. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried. But, but mom. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high, and found a castle in, in the, the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the heavens and the clouds. I fall from a small boy. Yum, yum, yum. Fe fi fo fum. Ready or not, here I come. Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first, I'd better say a prayer. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Uh -huh. He said, The giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hand. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Three, five, four, four, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Three, five, four, four. Ready or not?
Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? <gasps> yeah! I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Grand for a short little spell Now remember, don't talk to any strangers <gasps> I promise! Mama gave Red some special teas Grandma's very favorite cheese But in the woods a wolf stopped Red Well, hello, my dear, you're going where? He said Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you But I'm off to Grand, she's sick in bed I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart He knew the to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth. The better, my dear, to eat you with! <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! Say that to my face! The better to eat you with! <gasps> oh! Oh! On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends uh, <laughs> Well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, because, because... <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks. In the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there. I'll be quiet as a mouse. What did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! Yummy! Three bear chairs inside the family room Oh, hmm, I think I'll check them out And sing a little tune La 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 But the first chair was too big Oh, <laughs> oh my And the second one was too small Oh, too tight 
But the third one was just right. Oh, this is the best of all. Oh, oh, oopsie daisy. Oh, my. When she plunked into the chair, it broke into a million pieces. Oh, my. Look what I did. <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy. I think I need a nap. Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds. <gasps> wow, look at that. I think I'll rest my head. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> but the first bed was too lumpy. Squishy, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but the third one was just right. Oh, this will do. <sighs> While Goldilocks snored away, the three bears came back home. The front door was wide open. Oh, dear. It looks like we're not alone. Eating my porridge. Oh, someone's been eating mine too. And somebody's finished my every drop. That was mine, thank you. Oh dear. Hmm. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Oh, someone's been sitting here too. Uh oh. Guess what? My chair is broke. And that was good bamboo. I think I hear something upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And wouldn't you know it, mine too. And someone's been, look, she's in my bed. Oh dear, who are you? Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for everything. Goldie raced into the woods and hid from everyone. The bears could not believe their eyes. The bears could not believe their eyes. That really happen? <laughs> no, it's just a fairy tale. Oh, but where are the fairies? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Let's go visit the animals on the farm. Yeah. Come on, kids. <laughs> wow, you think there are any laughing hyenas there? <laughs> On a farm? <laughs> that makes me laugh just thinking about it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
and they lived happily ever after. Except for the laughing hyena. <laughs> we couldn't find him. <laughs> 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 Let's be monkeys bouncing from tree to tree. <laughs> hey, hey, we're the monkeys. <laughs> Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Bye. One fell off and bumped its head. Ow. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off oh. and bumped its head oh. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed It's not the bed, we're in treetops <laughs> <laughs> Three little monkeys jumping on the bed Whee! One fell off and bumped its head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said Now no more monkeys jumping on the bed oh. <laughs> 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 Two little monkeys jumping on the bed What fell off and bumped its head oh. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said Now no more monkeys I told them I did. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> One little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Now put those monkeys right to bed. <gasps> oh, no. That's right. Oh. Off to bed with you. <laughs>
Would you look at that? Ooh. Listen to this sound. Okay. And this one too. I can hear the ocean. Oh. And wait, it sounds like baby sharks. <laughs> Listen. Let me hear. Oh. They're saying just rub the two shells together. Sure. 
up to? Nothing. Where are my little munchkins? <laughs> honey, honey, wake up time. Breakfast's on in ten. Coming. Come on, mister, rise and shine. I won't ask you oh. again. Oh.
tonight I'm going to rock you Just like mommies do I'll fix a magic potion To make you feel brand new Then when you get sleepy I'll hold you till the light My little honey baby Is going to be alright Bubbles on my chin. <laughs> Bubbles on my. Chin. 
so sweet. Oh. Mama says, You smell divine while you're good enough to eat. <laughs> I smell good. My young girl. Look, I made a crocodile with sudsy floppy ears. <laughs> a bearded lady with a hat. It's so much fun in here. <laughs> bubbles on my belly. Bubbles on my chin. Bubbles on my elbows. I got bubbly skin.
know the cookies from the cookie jar. Not me. Not I. Not me. We made a batch of cookies, the peanut butter kind. Yum. But they seem to have gone missing. Have I lost my mind? Uh -oh. I looked inside the pantry, but heavens, they're not there. Oh, no. My very favorite cookies just vanished in <gasps> the air. Oh. Who took my cookies? Did someone eat them up? Could that someone be a doggy? A certain boogie bug? <laughs> Them, or someone here is lying. Not me. I mix the dough. I helped a lot. I shaped them in around. So where'd they go? And who did it? I didn't hear a sound. Not me. Who took my cookies? Did someone eat them up? Could that someone be a doggy? A certain walkie pup? Who took my cookies? I might have solved the case. What?